Welcome to the Bacardi Archive, a place that documents the history of the Bacardi company, family, and brand. Here, we've pieced together and documented our history, both past and present, with company documents, advertising campaigns, letters, books, and much, much more. Our story is 150 years old, and this year we celebrate our great success and perseverance despite the illegal confiscation of our Cuban assets in October 1960, 52 years ago this month. The archive has reminders of that dark day. For example, this newspaper, which reads, Revolutionary Law, 382 big companies nationalized, and Bacardi's on the second page. Other artifacts are the bottle and the company letterhead from that time. Shortly thereafter, the Bacardi family and company go into exile. A great loss like this would have shut down many companies, but not Bacardi. This wasn't their first challenge, and the spirit and culture of the company is that of great resilience and perseverance. While that event was a dark day in the company's history, it helped propel the company and namesake Bacardi brand to take on a greater international profile, which helped turn it into the globally recognized icon it is today. Within eight years of the illegal confiscation, Bacardi sells two million cases. This is one of the bottles from that case. And here we see it coming off the production line. As a matter of fact, within 20 years, Bacardi becomes the number one selling spirit brand in the whole world. As a company, Bacardi continues to prosper. The single brand company doubled in size when it purchased the Martini and Rossi Group in 1993. Bacardi went on to become the largest privately held spirits company in the world, the third largest international spirits company, and still family owned. Today, headquartered in Bermuda, Bacardi boasts a portfolio of iconic brands, all leaders in their categories, including Dewar's Blended Scotch Whiskey, Grey Goose Vodka, Bombay Sapphire Gin, Martini Vermouth and Italian Sparkling Wines, and many more.